Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today it is time for my third Sailor Moon inspired nail art series and this series is about Sailor Jupiter. So I chose to use a lot of greens and pinks because I feel like that really suit that character and if you want to know how I made this, please keep on watching and I really hope you enjoy. So first up, you want to start off with a good amount of base coat. And these are just my natural nails. I actually had to shorten them all a little bit because as you can see, um, the middle fingernail actually broke like a little corner off. So I had to cut them down all about three millimeters. So that's why my um, right hand nails are a lot longer than my left hand nails, but they're still pretty long. I know I should be all whiny about it but it just breaks my heart every time a little corner breaks off and I actually have to cut all the others down a bit as well but you want to start off on the thumb and the ring finger with a green polish and I am using a Kermit uh, the frog kind of green color from Catrice Cosmetics and it is an older nail polish so just any other green shade like this will be fine on the middle finger I'm using a really pretty girly pink color by Essence and that one is completely opaque in just one layer. Then for the pointer finger and the pinky I am going in with that same um, OPI Hello Kitty limited edition like a really light pink color that is and you want to apply two thin layers of that to make that completely opaque and don't forget to cap off the edges as well. And of course, don't forget to get rid of any of that excess polish in the cuticle area. Then we're going to use some water decals. So you just want to get some tap water or just whatever water you want to. Um, it doesn't really matter if it is hot or cold. I just use it cold. But do make sure to get rid of that clear film before you dunk your decal in the water. And first up, I'm going in with this cute little Sailor Jupiter face in a heart shape. And we are going to apply this to the pointer finger just in the center of it or just apply it a little higher or a little lower it doesn't really matter um, I chose to put this on the lighter shade of nail polish because I felt like it made the image pop a little bit more and you just want to press it down gently with your finger just to make sure there isn't any water underneath that decal anymore so it will stay put for a really long time after that, just take your water again and we're going to apply two cute little roses to the other light colored nail, which is the pinky. So you just want to keep that in the water for about 20 to 30 seconds. Then just slide it off the paper backing. And of course, don't forget to get rid of that clear film on forehand because otherwise your decals won't work and you can just throw them out in the garbage. And that would be a super wasteful thing to do because water decals are really cool and really handy so you just want to apply those to the pinky and then for the middle finger I want to apply this kind of like decorative dangly green and orange kind of thingy I don't even know how to call this it's like a half moon shape with some dangling orange hearts and I just chose to do this um, on the cuticle area of the nail of the middle finger just to um, not make it that obvious that I broke that fingernail off a little bit <laughs> and then for the thumb and the um, ring finger I wanted to do like a heart shaped kind of French tip so not really like a chevron but a little bit more rounded just like the um, upper part of a heart and I just used that same pink polish for that uh, which I also used on the middle fingernail so you just want to take your time with this. You could also just use uh, a stencil or anything like that to make sure you get the uh, shape right. But I really prefer just working straight from the bottle and just paint it on freehand. And you just want to go over that two times to make sure it is completely opaque. And don't forget to cap off the edges as well. Yeah. 
after that i just wanted to add a little bit more to the pinky nail and to the middle finger as well so i took a green jelly based holographic glitter polish by essence and a dotting tool and i'm just going to make little green like leaf kind of shapes it isn't really spectacular you just want to blob a little bit on and that's like good enough but i really wanted to add a little bit more of that green just to represent sailor jupiter a little bit more because her outfit is like super green and I really like my holographic glitter so I just added that to the pinky and also to the half moon um, like circular kind of shape of the water decal just to tie in this design like completely because I really like every color to be on at least um, two of the nails so that the nails are a complete set and it isn't like you have separate nails which don't tie into a design if you know what I mean but for the heart-shaped um, French tip nails, I wanted to add a little bit more shimmer and just glam and just prettiness. So I just added a little bit of one of my uh, My Little Pony collection limited edition polishes by China Glaze. And this one has just like the beautifulest um, green golden shimmer. It is just stunning and I love it on top of that pink and it ties in this design so perfectly. After that, we're going to add a little bit of stones and just pretty and bling. And you know me, I love my bling. So I really had to also include some in here. So I'm just going to add a couple of green and pink rhinestones to the cuticle area. And I'm sorry, I was a little bit out of focus here. I wasn't paying attention to my camera, so I had no idea I was out of focus. So sorry guys, I make mistakes too while filming. So I'm adding a bigger green one to the center and a couple of pink ones to the sides and some smaller green ones next to those pink ones again. So you have like um, green in the middle, pink to the sides and even more green to the sides. And we're going to flip that around for the um, thumbnail and we're going to flip that around as well for the um, ring finger. And I'm just ad adhering that with a little bit of Catrice Cosmetics top coat and just apply a little bit more if you did work a little bit slow like I did today or at least while I filmed this. Um, if your top coat is too dry your rhinestones won't stick or they will just stick a little bit and just drop off randomly and you don't want that to happen. And since I don't like to use nail glue to um, adhere my rhinestones, I suggest just using a little bit of top coat because it is more gentle to the natural nail and it really does stay put for a really long time. So I'm just going to do the same thing for the other nails. And for the ring finger, I actually only filmed applying three of the five stones in total. But it is the same as how we're going to do the thumbnail. So don't worry about that. In the finished result shot, you will see that I actually adhered five in total. So a pink one in the center, two green aside and two smaller pink ones aside from the green. So you'll just see it right here. I'm pretty much rambling <laughs> i'm really excited because of this design because i really like it and just add a good amount of top coat and just place your rhinestones in here and i'm just um applying those with my crystal katana which i got from aliexpress so it isn't like a legit crystal katana but it is a knockoff but it's really affordable and it works really well as well so if you want any links, by the way, for any of these products I'm showing, especially the rhinestones, the crystal katana, all that jazz, just let me know in the comments down below and I will try to look up all the direct links for that. So you can order those as well. I know AliExpress can be a little bit rough sometimes uh, with when you want to find stuff and you can't find it. But just ask me in the comments down below and I will reply to you directly with all the stuff I used. So um, just swirl them around the way you want them and when you're done you just want to apply an extra layer of top coat. So here I'm just applying a layer and capping off the edges as well for all of the designs. Just go over at least all of the water decal ones. You don't want to go over um, your rhinestones because that might dull your rhinestones a little bit and you don't want that because your bling is supposed to bling and be all beautiful and sparkly and stuff. So yeah, just go over all the nails and as I said for the ring finger I added two more extra 
rhinestones but you will just see that in a little while when you see the end result because we're almost done already with this design and just make sure to make it dry completely just wait like 15 minutes before you go on with your daily stuff to make sure you don't ruin your design right after you finished it but yeah Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments or anything, just let me know in the comments down below and I will reply to you directly. But I really hope you like this. I really love my Sailor Moon um, nail art series. But yeah, thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time.